Hi, I'm Severo from One Plugins, and I'm about to show you our latest free plugin. It's called Tre Bande, it's uh, Italian for three bands, and as you can imagine, it's an equalizer, and it's based on a pure classic mixer equalizer. Actually, this is the code from the mixer section of our Cassette 644 plugin, which uh, includes a tape emulation, cassette tape emulation, and the mixer uh, emulation from the original tape recorder. So we took that strip code, that mixer strip code, and put it in a single plugin because uh, I thought that could be useful to have a free, streamlined, easy equalizer plugin for all your needs. Um, the funny thing is that it has analog curves, so it's not your uh, typical digital EQ uh, that you can find in your DAW. And it has, uh, for example, the high shelf as a nice behavior. Uh, that lowers all the levels of all the other filters while uh, lifting up the eyes um, to keep the ease uh, at a reasonable level and to avoid uh, oversaturating the analog circuitry inside the queue because this actually has um, analog uh, saturation emulated inside of it. So without further ado, I will uh, jump into the UI of the plugin and show you the few simple controls it has and then I'll use, I use it to uh, shape the sound of an acoustic drum kit uh, to show you that also with a simple EQ like this you can get a nice tone from a drum kit. So, this is the UI of the plugin. We have the low frequency knob we have a parametric, um, sorry, a semi-parametric mid-band. You can choose the frequency and the gain, but you cannot choose the Q. And we have a high shelf. Uh, this is very simple. Of course, you can type in the values for different knobs, or you can just tweak the knobs. You can turn off the ease simulation for the plugin, so it doesn't produce the electronic ease but you cannot turn off the analog uh, saturation emulation because it's part, it's an integral part of the sound of this kind of, uh, let's say, cheap mixers that you were used to find in the 90s and early 2000s. So you will have the oversample because we're having the analog saturation. We need to provide oversampling to keep low the, ali the ali aliasing artifacts. And uh, of course, we are keeping it at auto, so the plugin adapts adjust itself uh, according to the sample rate of the project. And then we have load and save presets, so you can create your own presets um, very easily. Uh, we don't have any factory presets, but you can create your own user presets simply saving them through, with the interface. You can resize the interface with this uh, yellow corner over here. So you can choose the size of the interface that you prefer. And now, uh, being a very easy and straightforward plugin, I will just let you hear how it sounds mixing this drum kit. So I've choose only to keep the kick channel, snare channel, overheads, and room channel uh, to keep it simple and uh, to put the plugin in perspective uh, where it, it's been about to use in very simple recordings and nothing prevents you, of course, from using complex recording, but uh, um, the typical situation where you were using this kind of mixer plugin was when you were recording your band or uh, your scenes and you have very few channels, so I'm sticking with the very minimalistic drum kit now. So I'll start with the kick. This is how, of course, the, the, the kit sounds unprocessed. <clears throat> so I'm gonna now process the kick drum.
Now I'll move on to the snare. We don't have a high pass, so I need to tweak the low, <clears throat> the low bend to prevent the rumble from, from the low end of the, of the snare, but I'll probably use it to uh, give a, the snare a little bit more body. Right now, I'm just gonna to give it give it more air, more air on the high end. High end. Maybe this is better. <clears throat> Remember, we are not using any kind of compression right now. So this is just a cue on the drum kit. Now I move on to the panoramic the overhead microphone, so a little bit more shine. Reduce the low. And then a little bit less mud in the 400 area. Now I'm gonna use my room mic to get the whole kit sound. Just need to work more on the snare, I think. And here we are, a little bit less overheads. And here we are. Also, with a single plug, simple plugin like this, we can get a nice sound. I think it's definitely nicer. Maybe we can get a little bit more body out of the kick. could use some compression, but I don't want to use it at the moment. I just want to show how the echo works. This is the row kit, and this is the process kit. Very nice sound. Very nice sound with just this simple 
three band equalizer, which is called Hornet Trebande. So, this was Hornet Trebande, and it's a free plugin. It's uh, available right now on our website, www.hornetplugins.com. You can go there and download the plugin for free. We only ask you to uh, create an account on our website if you don't have one. And of course, enjoy it. And if you have any question, any suggestion, any idea, just write a comment uh, below here in the YouTube video or drop me a line by email or through the website. So thank you very much for watching this video.